Yes, I mean, I'm not at this time um, planning to endorse uh, any particular candidate, um, but I am uh, interested in uh, you know, X slash Twitter being somewhat of a public town square. If you are a fan of technology and businesses, you are in the right place. We have a special treat for you. An exclusive interview with Elon Musk, the visionary and controversial leader of Tesla, Twitter, and SpaceX. In this interview, he discloses more about his plans and opinions on Tesla's AI, China, Twitter, and more. You don't want to miss this. Elon Musk is one of the most influential and controversial figures in the world of technology and business. Recently, he sat down with the Wall Street Journal for an hour-long podcast where he discusses vision, challenges, and the plans for his companies and projects. He disclosed more about Tesla's AI, China, Twitter, and so on. When he was asked about his time management, he considered the only true currency is time, and he explained how he managed the time. Musk has a strategy of dividing his time across different companies based on the day of the week. For example, he might dedicate Monday to Tesla, Tuesday to Twitter, and so on. He also said that some days might require him to switch between different entities, depending on the urgency of the issue. He also admitted that his schedule is extremely difficult, that he has to work seven days a week in some pretty crazy hours. Musk also reveals that he does most of his scheduling on his own, without much help from any assistant. He said he has one part-time assistant who helps him with his work schedule, but he prefers to handle it himself because someone else can't know what the priorities are. He also said he liked to have fun on Twitter and does not take himself too seriously. Musk said that succession is one of the toughest age-old problems and that there is no obvious solution. He said that he has identified particular individuals who he has told the board to take over if something happens to him unexpectedly. He did not name those individuals, but he said that they are people who have been with him for a long time and who understands the vision and the culture of his company. He also said that he has a trust that holds his share and that he has given instructions to the trustees on how to vote those shares in the best interest for the companies. He said that he hopes to live a long and healthy life and that he does not plan to retire anytime soon. He said that he wants to continue working on his project and missions, such as making humanity and multi-planetary species, creating a pro-humanity AI, and advancing sustainable energy. Mars is the ultimate ambition of SpaceX because Musk believes that making humanity a multi-planetary species is essential for the survival and the advancement of civilization. He also thinks that Mars is the most suitable planet for human settlement because it has a similar day-night cycle, season, and resources to Earth. He has a vision of creating a self-sustaining city on Mars with the millions of people by 2050. In a podcast, Musk said that SpaceX is currently building and refining its Starship rockets technology aimed at transporting humans to colonize Mars. He also said that he wants to create a maximally curious and truth-seeking AI that is pro-humanity and can help with the exploration and development of Mars. He said that he considers Mars as his life purpose and he is willing to sacrifice everything for it. In the podcast, Musk said that he would be the CEO of Twitter in 2022 after he acquired a majority of stakes in the company. He said that his goal for Twitter are to make it more fun, engaging, and informative to users. He also said that he wants to use Twitter as a platform to promote his vision of a pro-humanity AI a multi-planetary civilization in a sustainable future. Linda Yaccarino is the CEO of X Corp. Her goal for X Corp are to make the platform more fun, engaging, and informative to users, as well as more profitable and innovative for the company. She also wants to use X Corp as a platform to promote Musk's vision for a pro-humanity AI, a multi-planetary civilization, and a sustainable future. Rebranding the name from Twitter to X to reflect the new direction and identity of the company, adding new features such as voice tweets, video tweets, live streams, calls, and stickers, improving the quality and diversity of contents by curating tweets from verified sources, experts, and influencers, enhancing the user's experience by reducing spam, abuse, and misinformation, expanding the global reach and accessibility of X Corp by supporting more languages, regions, and devices, adding new features such as voice tweets, video tweets, live streams, polls, and stickers, improving the quality and diversity of contents by curating tweets from verified sources, experts, and influencers, enhancing the user experience by reducing spam, abuse, and misinformation, expanding the global reach and accessibility of Twitter by supporting more languages, regions, and devices. Musk said that he believes that Twitter has a positive impact on the world by enabling people to communicate, share ideas, and learn from each other. He also said that he enjoys using Twitter himself and likes to joke around and have fun on the platform. Musk said that he has reduced Twitter's workforce by about 50% in November 2022 due to a massive drop in revenue caused by the global chip shortage and pandemic.
he said that the company was losing over $4 million per day and that he had no choice but to make some tough decisions. Musk also said that many brands had pulled their advertisements from Twitter amid concern that he would scale back the efforts to counter misinformation and security threats in the platform. He said that advertising accounted for 90% of Twitter's revenue and that he was working on finding alternative sources of income. Some of the groups that were affected by the layoffs include trust and safety, human rights, machine learning, algorithmic ethics, and the public relations teams. Many employees expressed their shocks and sadness on Twitter as they were locked out of their laptops and system without notice. Musk said that his goal for Twitter was to make it more fun, engaging, and informative for users. He also said that he wanted to use Twitter as a platform to promote his vision for a pro-humanity AI a multi-planetary civilization, and a sustainable future. Musk said that the U.S. still has the most advanced AI in the world, especially in terms of research and innovation. He said that the U.S. has the best universities, companies, and talent in the field of AI, and that it produced the most breakthroughs and discoveries. He also said that China is close behind the U.S., and that it has the resources to scale and optimize its AI capabilities. He said that China has a huge population, a large market, strong government support, and a fast pace of development. Musk said that AI is one of the most powerful and disruptive technologies of our time and that it has both positive and negative effects on society. He said that AI can create new opportunities and benefits for various domains such as health, education, entertainment, security, and businesses. He also said that AI can help solve some of the biggest challenges facing humanity, such as climate change, poverty, and disease. However, he also said that AI poses some serious risks and challenges, such as ethical, social, legal, and economic implications. He said that AI can exacerbate inequality and concentration of wealth and power in a few hands as it replaces workers and create winner-take-all markets. He also said that AI can undermine democracy and human rights as it enables mass surveillance, manipulations, and censorship. He also said that he hopes that there will be more collaboration and cooperation among different regions and countries on AI and that he supports the idea of creating an international framework for AI governance and ethics. He said that he wants to create a maximally curious and truth-seeking AI that is pro-humanity and that can help with exploration and development of Mars. Musk said that he is very concerned about the rising tension between US and China over Taiwan and that he hopes for a peaceful resolution. He said that he did not want to see a war or a trade war between the two superpowers, as that would be bad for everyone. He also said that he is trying to balance his decision-making around his assets and operations in China, as he wants to maintain a good relationship with both Chinese government and the US government. He said that he respects the sovereignty and culture of China and that he appreciates the opportunities and support that China has given his company. He also said that he is aware of the risks and challenges of doing businesses in China, such as the regulatory environment, the competition, and the intellectual property protection. He said that he is always learning and adapting the changing market conditions and customer preferences. He also said that he believes that China is a very important market and partners for his company, especially for Tesla and SpaceX. He said that he wants to continue to invest and innovate in China and that he hopes to contribute to China's development and progress. We conclude our video with a recap of what Elon Musk disclosed about Tesla's AI, China, Twitter, and more in his interview with the Wall Street Journal. What do you think of this interview? Do you agree or disagree with him? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more contents like this.